The lure of online gambling has made it all so easy to spend and fast. David Bradford's family had no idea he'd racked up half a million pounds worth of debt until they got the call that he was on his way to prison. I used up every source of funding for my gambling addiction. I likened it at the time to being an hamster wheel where you just couldn't get off, but you were pedalling and pedalling faster and faster and just getting sunk into more and more debt. What doesn't help, according to a committee of MPs, is the government and gambling commission's unacceptably weak understanding of the impact betting can have, describing the regulator as toothless. We found a regulator that is too slow to act, it's too weak to identify robust action. It doesn't have any targets to reduce the levels of problem gambling, of which there are 395,000 people in the UK who are problem gamblers, um, and individuals can't get proper redress. The committee's report has called for a radical overhaul of the regulator. It wants a league table of operators naming and shaming poor performers, an urgent review of the Gambling Act, setting out a timetable for that within three months, improved collection of data to better understand gambling problems and then respond, and an urgent investigation into the impact of fixed odds betting, legally accessible to 16 and 17-year-olds. Part of the issue is that the gambling industry is changing so fast. There's no need to go to the bookies to bet. Instead, it's all available on a screen, with new games emerging all the time. A spokesperson for the Department for Culture, Media and Sport said it was committed to protecting people from gambling-related risks, while the regulator said it was determined to deliver faster progress, adding... Over the past two years, we have strengthened player protection measures, tightened the regulation of the online sector, introduced strict age and ID verification checks, brought in a ban on gambling with credit cards and been tougher through our enforcement activity. David spent eight months in prison. Since then, he and his son have set up the Safer Online Gambling Group to increase awareness of the risks. They know firsthand just how damaging it can be. Emma Birchley, Sky News.